Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn Lala, Lady of the Realm. Oh, and first of all, I would love to say thank you for all my new subscribers. Guys, guys, for my old first 30, well, actually my old first, 20, first 26, and my new four that have just joined. Sorry, I had to get something off my lips. And, of course, my chest. Anyways. Yes. Thank you for joining, and also, today, I wanted to tell you about uh, all this fun stuff I was, I've been doing so far this summer. Right. So, basically, um, I'm gonna start with uh, my uh, the past three weeks that have gone by. Huh? Huh? Yep, it's already June. I can't believe it's already June 3rd. Right? June 23rd. Huh? It's, it's amazing how fast summer goes by. There's only seen Full supply, commercials, out wazoo, I swear. I understand, it's good to get stuff before you start. Hell, do it before summer begins. But sometimes, I cannot believe some people are that eager to get there. Eh? Though there's some other cases where that's probably a quite a true story. Which, yeah, where I've heard it from, it's not actually a very positive thing. Anyways. Back to us, the school events. Okay, past three weeks I have been hanging out at my. I've been hanging out at the local library, not because I, not only because I love to read, I enjoy reading, but I'm not the world's fastest reader, so. Three weeks tend to go by real fast for me, process, and just emotionally, mentally. Seems like it just goes. And so, books aren't exactly a good place to start there. Anyways. <laughs> My first event was the earthquakes. Thanks. Oh, and I also want to educate you all on that. That. I think that's, well, no, I don't want to give out too much information. Anyways, basically at this seminar, it was an adult event, and we basically just learned all the stuff about earthquakes, and what to do, what you're supposed to do, and I felt as a responsibility to the public, I should tell you guys about safety, about earthquakes. Doesn't matter where you are. Okay? Doesn't matter what's going on in your life. You should know everything possible about protecting yourself. The first thing they said was to get under something. They mentioned doorways, but they usually say standing in the doorway may not be the best option. Okay. However, I don't think it's a good idea to be like right under a table. Uh, holy and considering since not all tables are bolted down to the floor, mm, might not be a good move. Anyways, but you know, you don't you can't just stand there and wait for something to happen to you. You gotta take some action, man. You know. Okay. But he told us all about all the occurrences, and mm, I don't want to go into too much information. That occurred within my state at the time. Um, okay, and then the next thing I'll mention is oh, Dungeons and Dragons. This one I can go into great detail. Basically, we built characters and monsters and all sorts of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Even though I'm an old pro at it, 
I can learn a lot of new things because, well, even old pros I learned something new. But, to be honest, most of the time when I build my characters, I have help and I usually, so there's, I'm still a newbie and I've been doing it for like eight years. So, yeah, it's been long enough. Well, I probably should start doing it on my own. Okay. And then the next event, which was just last night, right, was the teen movie night. Yeah, I have a. Yeah, I tend to hang out with. Well, okay, we won't go into that. But then I would imply my age. Age, and I don't really want you all to know. Oh, and so I'm in bed shakes. Anyways. We watched the movie Mama, or as the previous would do. It was pretty scary. At least, at least the first part was pretty good, and I believe the movie was directed by Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro, and it was funny. It was well, not funny from the beginning. I know. From my perspective, being a horror junkie for a good portion of my life, horror films have kind of just either gone into ha 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 yeah that that's good that's a real good one yeah that's that's scary not it's kind of weird how horror and comedy kind of go hand in hand with each other because I mean yeah I know certain things have to be framed right in a horror film or it isn't going to be scary but at the same time it can be hilarious without intention, like, um, I won't say, oh, good movie I, is, a uh, Little, Little Shop of Horrors, they used to scare the holy heck out of me, trying to talk in the plant, don't want to meet that in the dark alley at night, <laughs> that's for hell, sure, heck sure, <sighs> but, it wasn't that bad of a film, but, I mean, the very first few parts, I, I wouldn't hold up much with this movie at the very beginning. It was... It didn't get scary till, towards the very end. And the only thing I'm going to tell you is it's basically two kids that get left in the woods and meet this ghost character, a uh, ghostly figure. That protects them, and they they don it the name Mama. But things get a little out of hand, as you know, ghosts and children, and you know, if any other character there is in the world, children who befriended and get to know it, and the basically. She is more and more, um, evil towards the mother of the family. Okay? I enjoy the... F There's a, uh, uh, I guess it wasn't really... Typically, the character really wasn't the mother of the family. I'll say that. She wasn't really the mother... She really didn't want to be a mom, but she ended up being so because, well, you know, you know how people are. They, the, basically, she was just the girlfriend of the brother who, of the father of the two girls. And they were fighting for custody over the children. With, yes, I think, their aunt. It might be their aunt. However, with that side, it was pretty scary for a Guillermo del Toro film. I like a lot of his writing, and I tend to enjoy that particular 
the film because it's it's just like hands laughing to me. I enjoyed it because I sort of like this childlike wonder to it that was incredibly scary. Oh my god! Right? I mean, I usually don't like it when they take stuff for little kids and they make it absolutely horrifying. I mean. God awful scary horrifying. Sorry, my eyes really I really wish I could do something about this lighting because it's I have lighting on my glasses. Sorry glasses magnify everything. It's not they are not good for this sort of thing. I'm warning you right now, you have to become a YouTuber. Anyways, that's my person right there. But, I wanted to also go into stuff that you can do during the summer. I know it's late, but I suggest getting with your local library. There should always look for free stuff in your own town. Um, it's always good things to do. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I guess that's all. And again, thank you. And please, if you haven't subscribed, click the button down here. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll get used to this soon. Click the button down here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Right there. That, that's the money. You will not be disappointed. Right. And I'll be back with a new video. And this is Aveline O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Same wiggle, wiggle over and out. See you later.